at Bixler here, and boy was I surprised the other day when I went online to look at my survey. You know, I I sent out a, a email said, hey, you interested in having uh, some support for your weight loss uh, resolutions in the new year? And I thought, you know, a couple people might be interested, but hundreds of people replied. It was like, holy geez, I better get to work on this, huh? You know. I wasn't always healthy. I, I'm not all that different from you. You know, I, I grew up wanting to have a healthy, happy life. Isn't that where everybody starts? We all want to have a healthy, happy life. We all want to grow up and have a healthy, happy family, uh, free of disease, you know, fit and active and fun. That's where everybody wants starts, but it doesn't always work out that way. You know, there was a point in my life where I was at, like, rock bottom. And, uh, when I was about 33 years old, you know, people always ask me today, well, Deb, are you always been healthy? You're so lucky to be healthy. Have you always been healthy? And the fact is, no, I was not always healthy. When I was about 33 years old, I ate nothing but junk. I was overweight, uh, not obesely overweight, but I was definitely 165 pounds. It's pretty heavy. And uh, ate no good food, no nutritional value. And I had an alcohol and drug problem as well. And so I couldn't even begin to fathom how to turn my life around. Unbelievable. Like rock bottom. And what happened was that somebody came into my life and made a difference. Turned my life around for me. But you know what? If someone had told me back then that 30 years later I would be, maybe it's not quite that long, but anyway, I would be teaching people how to live healthy, I would have said, you're crazy. Yeah, I would have said, you're crazy, because it was unimaginable. I, I had no clue on where to start to live healthy. But it's a process. It's a step-by-step -step process. And I have to say that one of my uh, famous mentors, he's not really a mentor, but one a very famous person that I have heard of, Albert Einstein, said that compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. Compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe, and you're either using it for you or against you. And I'm going to explain that to you right now, because the Six Weeks to the New You program, and really isn't a diet program, it's a healthy living program. And first of all, let's explain diet, okay? I'm, I'm all over the map here, but diet. You know what? We have a misinterpretation of what a diet is. In, in the 21st century, everybody thinks a diet means lose weight. Whereas if you look diet up in the dictionary, you're going to see that diet means to eat organic matter that sustains life. So the focus on a diet means that you are giving your body nutrition and health. And that's why when your body has all the building blocks of life, you can fight disease, you can be happy and healthy, and, and maintain what we all dream of. And so it doesn't really matter whether you're, you know, a mom on the run with four kids. And you know what? I This is why, you know, we're all so similar. Because on the survey, the number one thing that got written down the most was that time. The reason that's holding people back from living healthy is time. And so time is really valuable. And if we don't invest time into our health now, we're taking time away from our health later. And so you might be this, the, the dieter, the yo-yo dieter that's got every self-help book on the shelf and, you know, up and down, up and down with your weight loss and back on again right away. Uh, you could be the, you know, the mom, the working mom that has so much to do and you don't have time to cook, but you're worried about your children because they're starting to get a little chubby. Uh, you know... There's so many different scenarios that I'm not even going to go into them, but the system that, that I use to live healthy, step by step, small changes each day, small, de small pieces that lead to good health. Because, as I said, Albert Einstein said, compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. And you're either using it for you, or you're using it against you. And it's your choice. Now, we all know that compound interest is about money, but yet it's a principle. What is a principle? A principle that it applies to everything that it's applied to, just like the principle of the law of gravity. You know, principles are like systems, science. 
and it works for everything that it's applied to, like the law of gravity. Everybody knows if you throw a feather, a rock, baby, up in the air, what's going to happen? Boom, come back down, right? Law of gravity, what goes up, most come down. You can apply the law of gravity to a tree, for example, a tree on the ground. It doesn't just sit there on top of the ground like that. It has roots, so what goes up must go down as well. The law of gravity applies to everything. Let's say you have the Empire State Building, right? The Empire State Building isn't just sitting there on top of the ground. The law of gravity applies to everything it's applied to. It has roots that go down, just like this, to keep it stable. What goes up must come down. That's a principle. That's the law of gravity. It is applied to everything that it's applied to. The principle of compound interest works for everything that it's applied to. So, for example, money. If your daughter, three-year-old daughter, puts a quarter or a dime, let's say a penny even, a penny in the bank every day from the day she's three years old until the day she's 65, as old as me. I'm not that old. Until the day she's 65. Well, then, at the end of all those years, compound interest is going to play a role. It builds up, and it builds up, and it adds up, and she becomes a millionaire. Well, if she takes that same penny and puts it on her credit card, what's going to happen? Every day, compound interest, it adds up, it builds up, and before you know it, she's in the poorhouse. That's compound interest. And so, Albert Einstein said, compound interest is either working for you or against you, and you have a choice. That child has a choice. Put a penny in the bank. Put a penny on her credit card. Compound interest works in your health as well. You know, eating to sustain life means eating nutritious food on a regular basis. It doesn't mean starving yourself. Diets do not mean starving yourself. Diet means feeding yourself nutritious food. As a matter of fact, good diets, the kind of diet that I'm on, is you get to eat a lot of food. Because you know what? We all want to eat food. We all want to stay healthy. Uh, we all want happiness, and we all love food, and we all have a busy life. And so, when you take all that and add up, let's say, for example, the compound interest uh, in food. It applies to food. Let's apply it to food. If I were to eat a bag of barbecue potato chips right this second, I'm not going to fall over dead, am I? Well, that would be good if I did, because then the rest of you guys would probably stop eating them, right? <laughs> but if I were to eat a bag of potato chips every day for lunch, for the rest of my life, compound interest is going to build up and play a role and impact my life and it's going to compound the negative results. If I were to eat an apple right now, I would not be the picture of health, would I? But if I were to eat an apple every day, that fiber, that vitamin, that nutrition is going to add up and add up and compound and so I can choose to use my choices one day at a time each day to change my life. And that's really what happened to me 33 years ago is that I was in really poor health. And I made one small change, which was to stop abusing my body in the way of drugs and alcohol. And then I became a new person. And in the process of years, I continued to become a new person and use compound interest, so each change I made built on the other. And so, over the next couple weeks, as we talk, I'm going to give you one small thing to do every day that's going to compound into big results. You know, kind of like the law of gravity, which is a principle that applies to everything, we all have to hit a certain bottom. The law of gravity is a principle that applies to your health as well. Are you at the bottom? Are you at the point in your life where you're willing to make a change? Because we all have to go down to a certain level before we're willing to go up. And that's what it took for me to turn my life around. Now, my goal is to be that person for you. I'm going to be the person that changes your life. Are you ready? Take a minute. Write down. What would it be like for you at, the, at a peak of health? What would you have? I'm not talking about being skinny. I'm talking about, talking about, you know, the beautiful dress you would wear and how you would feel with more energy and how you would feel if you weren't using um, all these different medicines. How would it impact your grandchildren and your children? And what would it feel like emotionally? Write that down. Start taking the first steps. As a matter of fact, why don't you just write them below in the comment box 
so that we all can see who's in, who's playing, who is willing to use one step at a time, compound interest, to change their lives. Because we're not all that different. We're all a little bit the same. So, you know that 85% of the American population, and I know that everybody watching this video is not living in the United States, but I'm sure that, you know, the numbers aren't far, that far off for most industrialized nations. 85% of the American population has a preventable disease. And Dr. Oz says, and he says the same things I say, and I don't understand because I've never seen him at my cooking classes, so it kind of makes me mad, but whatever. Dr. Oz says that if we put as much time into prevention as we do into cures, we wouldn't need the cures. And so, it doesn't matter what you're looking for in life, we're not all that different. So, the six-week program started, uh, I can't even remember how long ago it was now, but a couple years ago, one day I'm typing up my little healthy newsletter. You know, I'm a chef. I'm not a dietitian or a, or a nutritionist. I didn't go to college for for uh, eating or nutrition. I went to college for culinary arts, so I'm a trained chef. But I know more about, about nutrition and, and eating right than most uh, dietitians and doctors because I've made it the art of something I study. It's, a, it's unfortunate that in this day and age it takes an education. You need to study your food in order to eat right. And uh, so, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Oh, yeah, now I remember. The six weeks to the new you. You know, it started like one day I'm there typing up my newsletter list. Just uh, sending out my recipe of the month club. And I just was like typing, trying to put in recipes and trying to think of something new. And I just thought, well, let's make a, it's only six weeks to summer club. And I just like, it was like a whim. I just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, type that in there. Uh, join the six weeks to the new you club and it'll be six weeks and we'll all be ready for our bathing suits in the summertime and weight loss. Well, it was kind of like this survey that I just sent out. I was like, whoa! You know, before that I had tried different things like to get people to get involved, you know, or, or learn something or, or, or buy something, you know, and, and nobody ever like responded. And so this was just like a whim and all I had was an order form. I didn't have a six weeks to the new you program. And I had like two or three hundred people like sign up like instantaneously, just like that. So it was like, okay, I guess I better create this program now. And so every day for six weeks, I'm like two days ahead of them, like typing it out, typing it out. And so the six weeks turned into a 56 day, one email a day, every single day, you email that gives you small tips that will add up to really big results in using compound interest to your health. And so, are you ready for that? Are you ready to turn your health around, life around? Because you know what? This isn't a pill. That's what so many people want a pill, right? This isn't a quick, quick fix, you know, like a get-rich-quick scheme or a get-healthy-right-away scheme. This is about eating every day. And actually, people tell me all the time that, that they eat more on this program and, they, and they're so happy with it and you know what some of the people are so surprised their cholesterol comes down and they have more energy or I had a couple the very first time I launched the program Penny one of my she's like my star she she uh, she lost like 24 pounds in the first six weeks she was the, like the first star of the six week program and at the end of a year she lost almost 95 pounds but Matt another guy who was in the first round he hardly lost any weight, but his cholesterol numbers went down like 100 points. And so there's a lot of benefits to having more energy and being healthy. But the real benefit is that this is a program that you live with, not that you do and it's over. It's like a long-time healthy living program where you, you just stay healthy and you enjoy life and you, you live your dreams, which is what everybody wants, right? So I'm probably talking too much. And uh, sorry if the pictures didn't work out so well. But anyway, I'll send you uh, another email in a couple days, and we're going to lead into this on New Year's, day after New Year's. We, we want to enjoy our parties, right, on uh, New Year's Day. But the day after New Year's, we're going to start our, our New Year's Resolution Club. So uh, watch for a couple more emails between now and then. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Let me know what's important to you, okay? And put your goals, put your dreams Start the commitment now by writing it down, down below. 
and it'll be really cool to see what everybody says, okay? Thanks for coming up. We'll talk to you later.